Hi, if you're watching this video, I'm assuming that you are getting ready to begin metamorphosis. So I'm hoping that this quick little video will just give you some background information on the story and then explain the first three um, assignments. From here, there will be a second video for um, the end of the story and then your last few assignments. So metamorphosis is by um, Frank Kafka. And um, as far as where do you actually find the story, um, it's going to be, you're going to go to the metamorphosis unit and then at the top you're going to click on section 3 and then you're going to go to part A and that part A is then going to show you um, where the first part of the story is. So if I come out of the PowerPoint here and go to class. What I mean is at the top here you can see that I'm in metamorphosis which is our novel study and if I click on section 3 um, part A you'll see that metamorphosis part 1 is right here and if I scroll down it's not that long. That's the, that's the whole thing. And if you come down to the bottom, you can actually have it read aloud to you. So if you're the type of person that you would rather have it read to than actually read it, then this, this can be a really great solution for you. This week, you only need to do this, this first part, this part one. Next week, you'll have assignments um, that are for part one or part two and part three. So that um, this week, all you have to worry about is part one. So wanted to give you a little background background on our author um, because his um, background does um, come into play with the story. So obviously um, he was born in 1883 and he died in 1924. So this is definitely a story that was written quite a, quite a long time ago. Um, he was born in um, Prague, which is now the Czech Republican, and Prague is actually where the story takes place. So um, you'll see a little of that in the story. Now um, usually Kafka writings kind of dealt with these three topics loneliness isolation and alienation and you are going to see all three of those in this story okay um, they usually say that his um, style is very stark which means that there's um, no poetic or meta metamorphic language it's just a straight story so hopefully um, that will make some things easier for some of you. Um, this actual story was written in 1912 and it was published in 1915 and it's actually considered his most famous work. So he has written several other things um, but obviously for our purposes we're going to focus on this. So what is meta metamorphosis? You um, you may recognize this term um, from biology. So the definition is a profound change in form from one stage to the next in life history of an organism. So um, like when the caterpillar goes to the pupa and goes into the um, cocoon, or when it comes out of the cocoon and it develops into our beautiful butterfly, right? That's metamorphosis. Well, this story is called metamorphosis because you're going to find that the, the main character um, actually turns into an insect as well. So setting the scene, kind of what this is about is um, our protagonist. Remember, the protagonist is the good guy. So like in Spider-Man, it's Peter Parker right? So our protagonist, um, his name is Gregor Sampson. Um, he is a son of just middle-class parents and they do live in Prague. And basically what happens is um, five years prior to the beginning of the story, Gregor's father um, has, has lost all of his money. And um, so Gregor went out and he got a job and he's working as a traveling salesman. And he alone is the sole supporter for his family. Um, they all do all live together. Um, it, his family consists of his father, his mother, um, and his sister, and that's it. Everybody else kind of sits at home and he goes to work. So when the story begins, Gregor is spending a night at home. Um, he's getting ready to go on another business trip. So he's, he's at home in bed. Um, next morning he's supposed to get up and then the opening line of the story is, as Gregor Sampson awoke one morning from uneasy dreams, he found himself transformed in his bed into a giant insect. Okay, From here, um, you're going to find that um, the story really focuses on um, defamiliarization. So that term is going to come up a few times. What that means is it's taking a normal, everyday, pretty much boring event um, and just what's normal about it comes to an end. So if you think about when you get up in the morning, right? That I'm 
that doesn't get any more boring and normal. You do it every single day. But now all of a sudden, it is completely disrupted. He can't even get out of bed because he's an insect, right? So um, this defamiliarization is the first introduction of this alienation effect. Remember I told you that Kafka dealt with isolation, um, alienation, and depression. So this is the, fr is the third one, the alienation. So um, why it's significant is um, we are going to be looking at um, some of the, besides just literal, besides him turning into an insect and being isolated, we're going to kind of look at some larger issues through this book. Um, and so one of your assignments is going to actually ask you the significance of him turning into a beetle. Like he ac actually turns into a beetle. So um, why, why is that a big deal? So this week, all you have to worry about is part one. All right. So part one, basically what happens is he tries to get out of bed. He tries to go on with his day. He's like, oh, this didn't really actually happen. I'm not a beetle. It's, it's totally okay. Um, but there's a really long, detailed description of him getting out of bed, okay? And this is actually going to be your very first assignment. So your first assignment, I'm going to show you here in a second, but it's going to ask you to read the first six paragraphs, which is him trying to get out of bed. And um, you have to choose quotes and then explain what is happening, okay? Um, basically, he's trying to get out of bed. His parents and the clerk who is... Um, basically from his employer is downstairs and he's basically threatening him but you you can imagine you know if you don't get down here in two minutes you, you're gonna lose your job we're gonna miss the business trip you're done right so he finally Gregor finally gets out of bed and he finally escapes his room because remember he is a beetle and everybody obviously freaks out when they see him mother screams um, she spills some coffee um, and his father beats him back into his chamber, or beats him back into his room, like literally beats him so that he's bloody. So um, what ends up happening is everything comes full circle. So basically Gregor was first imprisoned in his body and he couldn't get out, um, out of bed. And now he's once again imprisoned back in his room. And um, that is where we're going to end part one. So that's all you need to know for this week. Okay. So let's talk about your assignments. Um, there's going to be one that's called Gregor's ailment. Um, and I'm going to show you how to insert a table that's going to make your assignment a little easier to do. You're going to want to do the part one quiz, um, which is obviously just comprehension on part one. And then you're going to want to do the symbolism. And um, I'm going to show you, I did do a paragraph outline for the accordion paragraph that I think will help you. So let me escape out of this and go back to our class really quick. So that first assignment, Gregor's um, Gregor's ailment is going to look like this and you're going to read the first six paragraphs and you're going to take quotes from there okay from each quote you're going to basically be explaining Gregor's new his reaction and what's happening so see how this example has the quote on the left hand side and then the explanation on the right hand side in order to do that what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to um, open up a word document and let me move this over just slightly. You're going to want to go to insert and go to table. And because you've got a quote and an explanation, you're going to want two. And it said that you needed, I can't remember if it was five or four. So go with five. And then you would just put your quote here and your explanation here. And your second quote and your explanation. And so you can just keep going like this and then that will... Um, or organize it pretty well for you so that um, I can quickly see which quote and which explanation went together, okay? Um, for the second assignment, you're just going to click on, let me scoot this over again, um, part one quiz and then begin. That's going to be simple enough. For symbolism, um, it's going to ask you to, let me move this over again, um, a three paragraph response. So the first paragraph, um, why does Kafa use a beetle to symbolize Greg's loneliness and isolation. You know, why didn't why didn't he use um, a beautiful butterfly that kids like to study? Or think about kids and how they love ant farms, right? And they want to look at ant farms. You don't see kids collecting beetles. Why? Okay. Um, for the second one, what could you use as a symbol for two of the following? And then you want to use a symbol that's not well known. So it says, for example, don't use a gun for the threat of terrorism. 
And then the last one, choose a symbol that represents you. Now, for all of this, if you're like, I don't know how to do that paragraph with the green and the yellow and the red and the detailed, then I would recommend you clicking on this outline for each paragraph. And I've already done it for you. So then, let's see if it opens up here for us. Um, it's already done for you. So you can just click on Enable Editing. Oh, and mine closed it out. Sorry about that. It does that sometimes. Um, let me open another one. But then you can just click on it and start to write in your sentences. So um, that might make your life a little easier. So your topic sentence would be restating the question and including the answer. So, and then your first reason, you explain. Your second reason, and you explain. Um, the second question, what, um, what could you use as a symbol for two of the following? So, your topic sentence is going to be the question and including your two symbols. Then your detail one, your first symbol, why you chose it. Your second symbol, why you chose it. Okay. And then for the third question, oh, sorry about that. I should not have numbers on there. There we go. Um, for your third question, um, choose one symbol that represents you. So again, um, the question and the symbol, reason one, explain, reason two, explain. So that may help you out. So um, really that that's, that's it for the first three assignments in part one of Metamorphosis. As always, if you have any questions, let me know. And otherwise, I will have a new video for part two and part three next week.